games was uh, sponsored by someone like that. I remember them having a little glistening top, but as it's going live, I think you should take it away, Dennis. So uh, here we start off with the matchup Lowland Lions versus Fnatic MSI Cyber Gamer Invite League on Crossfire. First to 13 wins it, and uh, I shall be going with my standard and taking it away with the scopes and seeing what they can do here. And, uh, we see Ono starting off taking out Raz. Good start there from Ono. Lowland Lions getting into position very quickly. Mama taking out Kayo. Miracle right back onto Mama. And Kaja's up in there to take out Stevie, and it's a flurry of frags at the moment. Light is your last man standing, he's bottom A with that AK. And Bomb's going to be going down here from Leland Lines. They should Explosions easily planted. get this one down, absolutely no problems from them. Now they need to hold it off against Light, as although he's going to have loads of trouble. Lots of that's flying his way, trying to keep him suppressed, trying to stop him moving out of that A building. Not allowing him to get into a position, won't even be able to pick up a frag, and we will see Kaja grab that last one. And it'll be first round to Lowland Lions, and that was an incredibly fast round. In the blink of an eye, it was gone. Um, and I'm going to have to go with the trend that you seem to set here and follow on off the bat, as he did pick up a fantastic little cheeky wallbang onto that B area, just waiting for that peg to cross, but he doesn't mean manage to land it this time. And he seems to just escape from his hands, but Yasko Kozji will pick up that frag finally for the Lowland Lions team, but a quick revenge frag will come in the way of Mama dropping to the AK of Raz and slowly settling down into the game but Chibi will finally take Raz down out of that spot and pick up the nade frag but the bomb is being Explosive. most fake. No, it was a full plant on B. Incredibly confident from the Lone Lions side, knowing he had that cover in place and just went full on for it. And now it's all on Fnatic to try and get back across that street but they are all on that A side now. Light is peeking out from that top A, hoping someone will show their head so he can take it off swiftly but uh, it doesn't seem as though to be having any luck on that. Epic struggle, but uh, does get tagged up mid air and will flop to his death, but Stevie finally chiming in for a frag for the fanatic side. And it is all left to the legend himself, and uh, doesn't seem to land the frag on time. It does tag him up, but no such luck with the frag itself. And SMG spray coming out left, right, and but he does pick up one for himself, makes his way into that B air and finally shut down. And Chubi will claim that frag for the Lone Lions team, and another round will go to the LL team. Quick look over at the scoreboard. After two rounds, we see Mr. Ralph Lauren not doing so well for himself. Currently on zero frags, while the uh, rest of the Fnatic guys have got one frag. Chibi and Koja sitting on two and three and back to two on to Ono Maker. Yeah. And now we'll see Light is pushing all the way up into Light. He's found a massive gap in the defense here for Fnatic, but if he doesn't play this one carefully, he'll be shot in the back. And uh, peeking out with his Deagle does get taken out really in such a good position. It was unable to utilize it. And uh, Lowland Lions falling into position and of course taking him up from behind. Stevie takes out Kaje. Raz sitting in here on the B side and he's sitting inside. He does not want to give away his position. He's got one pushing up to his side. He's going to sit tight. He's going to wait for that bomb to go down. He's going to be peeking around this corner slowly. He does take out Chibi. Stops the bomb plan 2 on 2 at the moment. Has been spotted. Spray's going to be coming in from the side. But Stevie pushes up and takes out Frost. Mama's your last man standing all the way over at that A side. And does actually land the shot onto Stevie. Now it's down to Raz. Raz has got that AK advantage. And he's sitting in a very cheeky position. He's got four walls tightly wrapped around him. And Mama can by no means expect this one. Raz with his sights trained on that bomb site and the bomb itself. He has got the bomb as you can see there in front of him. Now Mama moving in. He knows where the bomb is. Has he spotted Raz then? No, he hasn't. And Raz is still watching that bomb. Mama pushes forward and he does actually spot Raz and he does take him out with a headshot. And it was so unfortunate there from Raz. He had the positioning, he had the opportunity to take that one. But unfortunately, Mama's instincts tingling there just a little bit too much. And I was able to come out on top of that one. Yeah, fantastic play for Mama there. So cautious. But uh, the first frag will go to Koji there. Picking up that naked on Raz, who previously pushed into that B bomb site. Both teams may actually even slow down for a second, but um, maybe not as the aggressive pushes from uh, Lions have had to cease for a second as they in the ground they almost lost there but they have seemed to find that hold on the B bomb site and Ono covering as Chubi will try and get that bomb down he does pick it's up one in the top A which was lighters and it's all going for Lone Lions here as they've dropped two players already for Fnatic but 
I am finally drawing one back for the Fnatic side, and I know we'll spot one pushing up the street. Does not manage to land stock? Kai will pick up another Froz down already, and Tubi finally shutting down the Kaio reign of dominance there, but um, we do have a player on the bomb side, which is Miracle. Does pick up the tag, but no frag to be found, and Yasko in a whole lot of trouble does finally drop to the AK there, but... It all is all left to the man, the myth, the legend, Stevie. Cautiously making, making his way around that top light area. Does manage to land the frag with the Deagle. Goes in for a little few no scopes. Cheeky as hell, but oh my god. Juby dropped a fantastic shot there with the scope. But oh no, too cautious, too careful, too clinical. And uh, we'll end that little battle with an SMG kill. Fnatic need to stop being careful now. I mean, Blolo lines are four rounds into the lead. And by no means does it look like they're going to stop. Guys, uh, Fnatic have really got to start picking up their game and really start getting into this and really start adapting to Lowland Lions' playstyle. Uh, you know, Fnatic, uh, Lowland Lions have been pushing B site nearly every single round now. Chibi taking out Miracle as he covers that B site once again. Mama on Takayo. The defenses for Fnatic are just dropping Mama again with that Deagle there on Taraz. Kojo on to Stevie. Light as your last man standing. One versus five. There's no way he's going to bring this one back. He's going to peek around this corner planted. and have his head taken off most likely. And it uh, doesn't even, oh, literally has his head taken off there by Ono Scope. And it's going to be 5 0 in favor of Lowland Lions. Fnatic need to change something up and something quick to claw this back, otherwise, it will slip away from the all star lineup. I do see Light to with a shotgun in hand. Maybe he's got a secret plan here to try and change the tides, but Mama. Already tell him to get the hell out of my A house as he does pick up two frags for himself. They're dropping Miracle and Kaio. The SMG power for the uh, Fnatic side, but all going in the way once again of the Lowland team who are faking that bomb side, trying to make it work, but they, they seem to give up on that as they know there's only Stevie left to find, and he's got it all to do once again. He's got a player going for the bomb, one next to him, and oh, they will pick up the frag, and they're just dropping like flies to the Lowland Lion side. Mama breaking that defense down like it's nothing. Now, Lights has got to be careful now, because I've seen him twice now, where he's been able to make his way all the way up until top light, and then be taken out, just, you know, being shot from behind. Like, he really can't use the opportunity effectively, and he's pe really over-peaking, and, uh, really just losing the, uh, the chances he has, and Stevie lands a brilliant shot there through a wall and through smoke onto Honor's head. Now, we get into that situation once again, where it's that mid-game, and the old Fnatic start dropping. Koja and Chibi both grabbing in frags. Koja's going to fall back to the cover of his teammates. Stevie and Kaio, you lost two standing. Chibi's going to be watching this cafe. He knows someone's going to be there off to his side. And he does spot Stevie, finishes him off. Kaio's your last man standing. Gets taken out easily by Koja. 7-0 is the current score. There is only Lighter so far that has not died every single round. Yeah, the Fnatic team need to slow down. They're not playing just another team. This is Land Lions. They're a strong, formidable bunch of guys these days who do not take no for an answer. And I've got to see what they're doing this round as Land Lions have once again taken that B house quite aggressively. But the, finally, Fnatic have a player in their midst. And hopefully, he'll pick up a frag. But I do believe he got dropped by Lono there. And two frags finally coming from the Fnatic side who slowly shut down that. Lone Lions attack, but once again, two more fly back, and it's tit for tat, and we are left in a three on two for the Lone Lion team, and it does seem once again to be going in their favour, and I know the pack is a little bit one sided, but this is a joke as Lightus will drop to the AK of Kozji in that B house, and it's Stevie left standing, and he must be getting tired of this. And I do believe the bomb will be going down soon on that B site as Explosive he's trying to get a peek and get someone pushing him, but Kozji will pick up another frag, and that's 8 0. And it's one of those kind of those times where you kind of be like, yeah, you know, Fnatic can do this, or maybe try this or that, but they don't even have a chance to try something different at the moment. By the time that they move out of spawn, the Lone Lions are either faking the bomb or going in for a full plant. Oh, they're starting this off, taking out Stevie, and you know, Light is getting in there to take out Mama. But once we start heading into the later stages of the round, Fnatic are just dropping. They're just being picked off by Lone Lions' superior play. Miracle's going to come around this corner, there's going to be one waiting on the light side. He knows he needs does or he knows he shouldn't repeat. Bomb's gonna go down there. once again. I've gotta mention mention Mike's going a little bit crazy there, but as you do say, the bomb Explosive was going down the B side and it has finally been planted by Chibi, but does finally get taken down by Raz in that cafeteria area with the little cheeky wall bang it is left in a three on three. Maybe that's the changing point for the Fnatic team, but Kozju says, Hell no, get out of my melon area as he does take down Raz there. who made that real important frag, but it's all left to Kayo, who's in the middle of the street, three <laughs> learning lines players staring at him and a brave but stupid man.
Sorry to butt in there, Dennis, but your mic's going a little bit crazy. It's fine, is it better now? All good? No! <laughs> yeah, get away. Yeah, sadly. Um, but I'm gonna try and see what Miracle's doing on this A side, because they do seem to be getting it pretty easily, and he's not really coming up too strong. Maybe there's something going wrong here. Maybe one of the uh, um, last players is getting so aggressive, but finally Raz picking up a little bit of spam, a little bit of luck, maybe onto Ono dropping him out of the game, taking a little bit of range away from that lone line side, but finally things are slowing down. Maybe to the favor of Fnatic as Lytus will pick up on for himself. The slower play seems to suit the Fnatic side compared to the lone line's aggressive push. We are left with Posgy on the side of that B bomb site. Hoping that his comrades will pick up a frag to help him out a touch, but I don't think they're in much luck as Malmo's trying to lay down a little bit of spam on the A house, picking up on the players, hopefully on the wall band, but doesn't seem to manage to land anything as they're being so cautious, so careful. Finally doing what they need and just working for a frag, but um you know, it doesn't seem as though Fnatic side are budging and they're waiting for the moment to pounce and miracle spots a player pushing A and does drop him. Stevie picking up one for himself and is all left to Kozji alone in that B area. Must be feeling pretty nervous with five fanatic men staring at him. Let's spot the head of a wild Stevie leaping into the street. Doesn't manage to land the frag of him even though it's right in front of his face. Kozji so careful with his peaks. He's got to be against players like Stevie. Does pick up the tag and the frag and does pick up Miracle. Does pick up the second. Three left to find. 25 seconds left on the clock and it is all to do. He's taken down two key players but... Let's not keep uh, Raz, Lighters, and Kaya waiting as he does drop out the smoke, hoping one will peek. None seem that overly keen to do so as they know he'll be waiting for them. And he does see one there, but uh, Kaya will finally pick up the frag, and that is around going to the Fnatic side at long last. Long last, but it was drawn out. I mean, we heard the B before the end of the round there. It was literally like 30 seconds away from the round ending. And the rounds that Fnatic are losing are done within, the, you know, the first 30 or 40 seconds. So. Getting into the very late stages of the game might go towards Fnatic, but I mean they had to sit in so tight that round just to get the round to that to that stage. And uh, taking it away here, we see Light starting off onto Mama. Oh, popping his nade towards our, towards the back gate. Deagle bro coming in as Kojé drops Lighters with that Deagle across the map. Now Miracle once again popping it, throwing his nade out towards the top of the street. Explosion. Not going to find anyone. Chibi's going to get that bomb down. If only Fnatic couldn't could have stopped that plant. Kaja grabbing a second of the round as he takes out Raz. Now Steve's gonna try peek run here, seeing if he can play off the pick pick off the player on light. Chibi onto Miracle. Two more players left for Fnatic. Kayu and Stevie. And they are bunched up. But Honor lands the plus ten onto Kayu and Stevie oh to finish God. off the round in style. What can you do when Mr. Honor is up for the call? Incredible. Like William Wallace just standing tall in the, you know, back spawn building. I had to say, I'm sorry. Uh, Ono once again going for that pick onto the cross there, waiting for a Fnatic player to peek his head out, but nothing happening. And can once again learn to control the pace of this game. No, they can't throw for that. It's Miracle will tell them to get away from that push and get them out of their house. But Froz and Mama picking two up for himself, taking Miracle out of the game, getting a little bit of revenge for his comrade there, Kozji. And we are left in a 4 and 3 situation. In the favour still of Lowland Lines, but Fnatic controlling the pace of touches. They've slowed it down, but Ono with the SMG frag in lower array, incredibly aggressive. And see what he can do here. Does spot one player there, which was Raz, but doesn't manage to land the frag unless he hit that crazy nose scope, which I wouldn't put past Ono. But uh, we do have Froz in back A, waiting for that Deagle frag to come in. Does tag it on, does land the frag, but will get shot down by Raz. Raz had an incredible round, but uh, finally taken out of the game by Mummer, and it's all left to, once again, you can guessed it, Stevie. Scope in hand, two players to find. And they're both in the A house. Surely he's going to be thinking what they're doing there, but they have got the bomb down on the A side. So rare to see. But he does have Chubi and Mama to find the newly formed combo. Split from left to right, setting up a crossfire, and he won't be able to manage to pick this one up. And Chubi will claim that final frag. 11 yeah. 1. We're going to have to see something more than phenomenal coming up from Fnatic at this point in time. You have to win every single round on a tag. Just to be able to, well, win it. I mean, you need to pick up 11 rounds for a tie. And numbers like that are just too big at the moment for Fnatic. I don't think they're going to be able to take it. I don't want to see Fnatic, you know, dropping like 13-1 kind of thing. I'm pretty sure they can grab a couple of rounds now. But I think it's a little bit too late at the moment for them. Lowland Lines really just playing way too superior. And Fnatic not able to stop them in the least. And, um... Yeah, I mean, I, I thought Lola Nines would win. I didn't think by this margin, though. I thought, like, you know, maybe three or four rounds. 
but with a possibility of a 12 round difference, that's just astounding. Indeed, they're ready to control the pace, which is vital on attack. Right, uh, let's see Burn if we can out. pop it away here with one of the scopes. Gonna take it away with Stevie's top of the street, took it away with Honor beginning last half. Let's see if he can grab something here off the start. Will he find anything? Honor should be at the bottom of the street, but not anywhere that Stevie's looking. And we'll see. Fnatic a lot more A oriented. They've still got three players towards that A site. Raz taking out Frost. Chibi in there with the reply. And Mama also getting in a little bit of action. Chibi waiting towards that cafe site. He's going to be the one that's going to be first to receive a bomb plant. And he's going to see if he can stop it. But they've still got a little bit to wait for that as the Fnatic still need to move the bomb towards that B site. We see it is being carried here by lighters. He's got to be careful. Two players towards that A site. One might be lower. And that's definitely going to be denying him a bomb plant if he goes for it. He's going to drop down. He's going to fake it. Chibi's going to come up here from the cafe. Mama peeks out lower A. And unable to hit anything. Light's trying to find out where the gunshots were coming from. But won't be successful. And as the time ticks on, things are getting a little bit sketchy here for Fnatic. Need to get an attempt on this bomb plant. They need to find another pick. Stevie's going to come around this corner. Perfect timing as he takes out Mama. And now he needs to be careful. There was a play top right. It is Kojo. Takes out Stevie. 2 on 2 at the moment. Light is moving back on onto this bomb side. Miracles in the cafe side is going to be able to lay it on the crossfire. Honor's watching that bomb. And he knows that light is going to be coming in from the left. Do they have a smoke though? That's the big question. If they have a smoke, they can easily get that bomb down. Bomb's going down on the left hand side. Honor needs to. Do something, but oh no, it's on the right hand side. He lands the shot there onto Lighters, and now Miracle's panicking a bit. He's only got five seconds, he won't be able to get this bomb plant done. It needs to move in for the frag. Will he be able to get it though? No, he won't. Time runs out, and oh no, wow, pixel perfect shot onto that bomb plant to save it for his team. Just superb play from Ono at the moment. Absolutely incredible. Now, let's see what Frost is doing here. He's gone for the spot that most scopes would go for. He's trying to watch that A cross, but doesn't seem to be having any luck. He's known for his incredible aim, but doesn't mean to manage to land any shots off the bat. But we do have a slight A push coming in from the Fnatic team, and Raz picking up one, Stevie with another, and it is a little bit even for once, but Kozji taking Raz out of the picture. Ono dropping to Miracle's Deagle. That must be a little bit uh, depressing, but um, we are left to the two on three. Lighters dropping to Frost's AK. Fantastic work there, but uh, it does seem as though this game is almost played out, but he's left in a one on one between Frost and Miracle. Miracle trying to find this Frank here, but Frost is prowling around that top A site, knowing Miracle will be right next to him somewhere. Miracle cautiously making his way. Towards that wooden stairs, he's circling around the house like a hungry animal, waiting for his moment to pounce, but doesn't seem to manage to find anything. Does think he spotted the player, and he has, and the Roz will go down, and finally, <laughs> Fnatic have picked up a round. They've picked up a round. Seems missing a player. But Kaio is like, yeah, GG, you know, Stevie said GG, and now they're going to have to call a timeout, as uh, they need to get Kaio back in the server. And you know what, I think that's slightly unsportsmanlike. I mean, he really could have just waited until the end of the game. But now they're going to have to call the timeout and uh, wait for Kaya to get back into the server so that we can have a 5-on-5 five five once again. Because, you know, there's still the world's opportunity. Okay, I won't say the world's opportunity. You know, maybe a small island off the, the coast of Africa or something. But there's still a chance somewhere that they can bring this one back. And uh, oh, we see Kaya joining up here. No, not just yet. There's definitely a timeout. So something is in the works at the moment. Let's check as well. Wait for Kaya to come back. We're just going to grab a drink. We'll be right back. Stick around. Uh, uh, I believe oh, they are wait. starting. Never mind. I take that all back. When you've got a score line of 2-12, to 12, I think you've just got to go with it. You I don't think it's time it. to start uh, changing things up. It's going to be awkward if Fnatic win another round, though. Slightly. Frost pushing up the street. Mama has slotted out of sorts as he takes out Raz. Frost pushing up the street, grabs himself too. He's looking for the third, but the player's behind him. It is Miracle. Can he grab himself a hat trick? No, he won't. Mama's going to deny him. And that's going to be the 12th. Sorry, the 12 13. The 13 2 scoreline. And what play from, uh, from Lowland Lions. That was I'm absolute decimation. Shocked. 
<laughs> I'm horrified almost. I you don't see one-sided games like that these days. Well, you raise